Hey everybody, we are back with another review, and today we're going to be checking out another McFarlane drop. We got the Doom Eternal Slayer with the Ember skin. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. A little bit different box. Uh, we have Now we have a flap on the back with a hang tag. Before we had the hang tag that was plastic and it was stuck to the top window. Uh, and then we have the original one with no window, and then the hang tag's in the middle and it's plastic. So um, I'm digging the evolution of the box. McFarlane. They make phenomenal toys. Um, when it comes to figures, these are probably some of the more higher end stuff for a uh, lower end budget, if you would. So you could probably get most of their figures are priced under $50, which is a good price point for a hunk of plastic. So this is this is like 20 something dollars, this guy. He's not expensive at all. Um, but they get really expensive though if you don't pick them up. So it's not something I wanted to go back for. Let's just let's just say that. It was something I, I wanted to go forward with. So let's uh we're gonna, to, we're gonna have to snip the tips. There we go. Got that arm. Pick that one. Get all that out of there. And now uh, I think we can pull it up. Let's get the center and then we'll pull them out. There we go. And there we go. There we go. And he does have a stand, which we're not even going to mess with that. But this is awesome. So this is the Ember skin from Doom Eternal. And this is what it looks like, which is pretty dope. And, of course, the fire, the flame, the flame on the sword. That's pretty dope. Because I don't does it have the wave on the back? It does not. But there is, there's the regular Slayer from Doom Eternal. I do have um, the Marauder as well. Um, I have the full set of these, actually. So um, I have the Doom 20, uh, 2016 one. We got um, the Bronze one. Then there's the uh, Phobos one, Phobos Edition one. And actually, the only one I don't have is the Unicorn one, which I didn't want that one at all. I mean, I'm a collector. I'm a completionist. But I didn't want the Unicorn one. I thought that one was stupid. So there is the double-barreled shotgun with a different type of paint schema compared to the other ones, which is nice. Same articulation that you're used to. It's basically a retooling of the regular guy, or I should say a, a repaint app, and they just added this stuff. Because, like, the flames, I think, uh, don't really... The helmet, I don't think, is modified. The sword isn't modified. It looks like they just actually added the flames. So they didn't retool anything. They just added flames. The cannon, the Gauss cannon's still there. Um, yeah, they just repainted everything and, and just added a few pieces to it. So... There you go. Nothing really retooled at all. Um, but it is pretty cool, though, because he doesn't really need a retooling, I guess. The unicorn one, or the... Yeah, the unicorn one. That one That one probably had a... Maybe that one didn't get retooled either. Maybe they just added the unicorn stuff. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I'll pick it up just to check it out, just to see if it was retooled or not. So, But I do love the uh, articulation on the McFarlane toys. You can do some really cool... Really cool poses with some of the figures. I have a Max figure that's actually pretty dope. I mean, you can get, look at that, like a really nice high kick right there for some nice posability. Maybe do like a high kick with like a blast of the double barrel. Finish him with the sword. But you got really nice articulation, especially with all the body armor. <clears throat> kind of reminds me of like a Marvel Legend, only the latching technology is nice because it keeps them locked in place. So you don't have to worry about something where, um, you set it, and then maybe over time it just kind of loses its shape or form. Once you set these guys in, in form, they stay in form. So there we go. Kind of put them back to the original stance. Pretty dope. This is the Doom Slayer. It's Ember Skin from Eternal. So pretty dope. <clears throat> I dig it. I definitely dig it. So they did a good job with this one, as with all the ones they did for this series. Pretty freaking dope. So, even the paint's actually pretty good paint application. I mean, it matches the game skin, so. I am satisfied. Why don't you let me know down in the comments below what you think of the Doom Eternal Doom Slayer Ember skin uh, from McFarlane Toys. And if you like this video, uh, 
give it a thumbs up or more content like this. Subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So be looking for that. Have a great rest of your day.